Okay, guys, we'll kick off with broadcasters and then we'll. Somebody's goggles? No. And then after glasses? glasses? Yeah. We'll kick off as we always do with broadcasts and we'll split for, for print. Uh, Deck from Sky, if you want to get us off and okay, underway. David. Hi there. Um, start this team news. How's the squad looking after the international break? Uh, no, pretty good. We've got a couple of uh, wee bit of illness here and there and a couple of odd injuries. So Emerson's been a bit of sickness. Agard came back with a bit of grumbly hip and uh, Skamaka's got sore knee. So we'll need to see how they are in the next few days okay, cool. and uh, we return on Sunday to a crunch game against Southampton how important is that game to run in and the season ahead here? really important uh, but I su- suppose you know it'll be put in the same category we played Everton a few weeks ago we had to play Notts Forest a few weeks ago we've had Aston Villa since then so very similar to all those games you know every every game's hugely important sort of picking up three points would be would be great if we can do so but all the games in the Premier League are, are so, so tough. Yeah, it's so tight at the bottom as well at the moment. How many points do you think the team are going to need to stay up this season? Well, I've not worked it out, but, you know, I'm, I'm looking to see that there's about nine or ten teams who could, could be involved in the in the bottom end of the table. We're one of them, unfortunately. We hoped that we wouldn't be, but we are. And, uh, no, we have to find a way of making sure that we're, we're safe come the end of the season, and I'm sure we will be. And on Sunday... The fans are going to play a big part in that game. It's a huge game down the bottom. How much do you need to get back on Sunday? Well, I think eh, if ever we needed it, it's coming up to a period now. We've got a lot of home games in the next month coming up. Uh, we've got nine games in April. So it's going to take take a lot from the players and uh, you know, anything the supporters can give uh, will certainly add to hopefully their performance and, and the effort the players put in. Yeah, and you feel you're really prepared for the game. Suddenly the players ready to go. Big game, big game. Yeah, I do. I think the players are, are ready. I think we're in a, a good frame of mind and I think we're ready to go and hopefully go on and try and pick up the points that we need to make sure that we're we're not near the bottom end of the league. Lovely, thank you, David. Maybe. Hi, David. Good afternoon. Hi. What do you think would be, from your point of view, the key to have a positive result this Sunday? Uh, I, well, I, the simple things that we've got to score goals, and you, you don't concede any goals. That's simple. Uh, in between, it comes a lot of other things. But uh, focus that we concentrate in the game, and we you know do everything we can to win the game. The most important thing is winning the game, and how we do that in many ways doesn't really matter. But we've got to we've got to get those wins under our belt now, which gets us away. We're into a really important stage of the season, and. Uh, Lots of games, difficult, difficult set of fixtures because of uh, and we've got three games in six six days, uh, so uh, we have to we have to take that and get everything we can from them. When you look at the qualities that a player like James Ward Prowse offers, how challenging is it to prepare and defend against the set of skills that he has? Well, I don't know enough about uh, James Ward Prowse except for what I see. You'd probably be a better asking the Southampton manager about James Wars Prowse, but obviously we'll try and prepare our team to be ready to try and cause Southampton problems, to try and put them under pressure. Uh, what I what I do know of James Wars Prowse that he's a, a really good footballer, incredibly good uh, set piece taker, and uh, by all accounts a really good lad as well. So uh, those those factors we'll we'll consider, but obviously I'm more interested in how we perform. The European campaign brings more games in fatigue, but how much the satisfaction from the results there would have an impact on your performances domestically? Well, I think our results in Europe have been have been really, really good. I think we've gone ten unbeaten, and I think that's kept us going a little bit. It's kept a lot more belief. We we're certainly not acting behind the scenes as if we're a team who are in the in the wrong part of the league because I, I see the players uh, around the around the club. In good mood, good spirits. So partly that's to do with how how positive our results in Europe have been. From all of the, your years experiencing the Premier League, have you ever seen such a tight relegation battle with so many teams involved? Uh, no, I think quite often teams are broke away from from that point and uh, and maybe not uh, not had so many teams that uh, probably fighting it out. But I think I said at the start, and I'm saying I say week in, week out. Now I think the, the Premier League there is there's very little difference between a lot of teams. Of course, we've got two or three outstanding teams at the top of the league, but maybe after that, there's not a great deal between a lot of teams. And uh, getting the points 
getting some good early wins at the start of the season can make that feel better. We didn't. Um, we're now paying the price and we're having to pay, play catch up at the moment. Because of the position in the table of both teams, do you sense a different approach, a different mindset for the players early game? Well, we've only had them back one day, so it's difficult to sense anything really. You know, uh, we're only getting them back. We're only getting, getting, bringing them back in to see they're all okay. So, uh, I couldn't give you an answer on that really. No. Any more broadcasts at the back? No. Okay, we'll turn the cameras off then, please, if we can.